Here are two ways to lace vans without the need for tying them so they slip straight on and the lace bow is hidden. The first is a loose lacing style and the second is a bar lacing style. I've got timestamps for each down below. Let's get into it. Here's the best way to lace old school vans in a loose lace style that will just slip on. Begin by taking your lace and threading this lace end down into the very bottom eyelet here from above, not up from underneath. Pull that through. Then pop that one out of the way. Take this lace end and we're gonna do the same. Thread it down into the very bottom eyelet on this side from above, not from underneath. I'm gonna pull that one all the way through. Make sure there are no twists. Then bring your two lace ends together and we're gonna make sure they're the same length. So just take a moment to adjust them. Mine definitely aren't the same length. If you got it on the first try, then well done. That's super hard. And then once they're of the same length, go ahead and pop this one out of the way. Swap back to this one. And we're gonna bring it over the tongue of your vans down into the second eyelet up from the bottom on this side now, just like that. And you wanna leave it slightly loose, not too much, but just a little there. So there's some slack on the lace. Then swap to the other one. Bring it over the sneaker tongue and down into that eyelet on the other side from above. Again, leaving a little bit of slack. Then we're gonna keep a hold of this lace, bring it over the sneaker tongue and down into the next eyelet. The third one up from the bottom on that side. Make sure there's a little bit of looseness. Swap back to the other one, do the same on the other side. Third eyelet up from the bottom. Now, if you need to slow down a little bit, you can play the video on a slower speed or you can just keep pausing. Take your time, make sure to get it right. There's no rush. Pop that one out of the way. Now we're gonna keep a hold of this one. Bring it over and into the fourth eyelet up from the bottom on this side. From above, just like we've been doing, leaving a little bit of slack like that. So that's the other one. Same on the other side. Looking good. Keep a hold of it, bring it over into the next available, into the next available eyelet, pull it through. Making sure there's no twists. Swap it over, grab the other one. Same on the other side, down into from above, pulling it through. Just making sure we're leaving a little bit of slack here. Keep a hold of this one and down into the next available eyelet on that side. Pull it through. And we're doing really well, getting close to the end of our pattern here, so just keep going. Swap back to the other lace, down into this eyelet here. Nice, keep a hold of it. Into the next eyelet. So I'm at the second one down from the top now. And do the same on the other side. And just take a second to make sure there's a little bit of slack in all of those so you'll be able to slip your foot in easily and now we're going to do something a little bit different and now we're going to do something a little bit different for the very top eyelets here we're going to go up into them from underneath this time so just pull your laces through swap back to the other one pull it through and now we're gonna finish it by doing a loose lace style at the top. So just go ahead and pull that lace back through, round about until you have this much lace left, or however much you think looks good. For me, I think about this much looks okay. Do the same on the other side, pulling it through until you've got same amount. Just make sure they're the same length and they're looking good. Then, these loose bits of lace here, we're literally just gonna take them back and tuck them behind the sneaker tongue here. Now these will just sit on top of your foot and they won't cause any trouble at all. And it means you'll be able to just slip on your vans without the need for tying them at all. Repeat on the other shoe and you'll have laced up your old school vans in a cool way. 
So if your vans are fresh out of the box, they should have a little loop lace like this already done in them. But if they don't, just take both lace ends down into the two bottom eyelets of your vans, then pull the lace ends together to make sure they're the same length before we begin. So then the first thing you want to do is take this lace on the right hand side, and then you want to take it up and underneath through the second eyelet on this side, like this. So it's kind of hidden there. Pop this guy out of the way. And then you want to bring this lace over to your left hand side and thread it down into the second eyelet on this side here. And make sure it doesn't fold or crease. We want it to look nice and crisp. And as you can see, you've formed your first, well, second bar. Then put this lace up and out the way. Take this lace up and through the third eyelet on this side here. And then you want to bring it over to this side, just like we did before. And into the third eyelet on this side here. Take your time, make sure there's no folds in the lace. And make sure they're all looking roughly the same size. Tighten them up a little bit. And again, pop this one out of the way. Keep a hold of this lace. Bring it up into the fourth eyelet on this side. Bring it over and into the fourth eyelet on this side. As your laces get a little bit shorter, this gets a lot easier and quicker to do as well. Make sure it's looking nice and even and good. Then pop it out the way. Back to the other lace. Take it up through the fifth eyelet on this side. Bring it over. Once you've completed the fifth eyelet, again, just take the same lace, bring it up and over. And you just follow along with me to make sure you get it right all the way through, making sure all the bars are looking nice and even. Again, put this one out of the way. Take this guy here. We're getting really close to the finishing product now. Bring it over. And once you get used to doing this pattern, it gets much easier to do your second shoe as well. What we're going to do is leave this guy out of the way for now and we're going to finish the look with this lace. Up through the eyelet here. And then down into this one here for a nice seamless finish. If you like, you can knot your laces into a bow here and leave these two empty. Or what I like to do is take both laces and fasten them into a knot like this. And then I like to tuck that knot down underneath the sneaker tongue with the laces. And settle it down there until it feels comfortable when on. And this is a great way of lacing your van so that they slip on. Then I'm gonna bring in the one I did earlier. Once you've got both done, this is what they should look like. And you'll be left with a really cool pair of bar laced vans. If you found the information in this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. That way you won't lose it and you can come back to it later.